Are you a woman in midlife feeling a bit stuck right now? Stuck in particular in the roles that you're fitting into. For instance, you're a mom or you are an entrepreneur or you're the one that does all the volunteering at church and you feel like all of these roles are restricting who you are or maybe it isn't quite like they're restricting you but you're not quite sure how to become more than all of that you've spent so much time pouring yourself into family friends work community and yet now when things are shifting in life like your age your kids moving out of the house your marriage might not be what it used to be or maybe you're going through a divorce you're trying to figure out who am i in all of this hi i'm dr natalie marr i'm a clinical psychologist and a life transition expert and i help women in midlife to break out of these roles Narratives like this really bind us. They keep us inside the boundaries of what the definitions of those roles are. And they don't allow space for us to grow, change, or just decide differently for our life, right? Roles are great when you need to be in a certain way at a certain time. So for instance, for the mother who's raising her kids, the role makes sense. I'm mom, I'm doing the things. Or if you're at work and you're the one that is always certain, always the one who knows what's going on and everybody can come to, it's good for people to know that role. But when you're going through a major life transition, like in midlife, you feel a little bit stuck and restricted. Like, Maybe you're not certain. <laughs> Maybe even though at work, that's who you've been for all of these years, you really don't know what you want to do next and you want more flexibility and you're feeling like the pressure of everybody around you telling you, yeah, you don't get to do that. You're the one that's always certain. You're not the one that gets to try things on for size. You just know. I want to help you break out of that. And here is a tip for you. First of all, whenever we create definitions or roles, we create this dynamic of us and them, and that's not useful. It means that other people get to do the things and you don't, or you're expected to always show up a certain way and they're not. I want you to give yourself space to think about your roles differently, redefine them entirely. Now, other people in your life might get super uncomfortable by, the, by this, and that's totally fine. If, if you don't start to create some discomfort in how this has been running itself for as long as it has, nobody's going to change around you either, and you're going to fall right back into that role. But I want you to think in your whole life, what is a role where I really am feeling stuck? You know, the example that I've used is this person at work who is always certain well, what if I want to be uncertain? What if I want to be a dissenter? What if I want to always come to the room, you know, with a different idea? Like, we're not going to just do this because we always did this, but I'm going to give it kind of an openness and a growth mindset. Well, in order to do that, you need to start to tell people you're not that role. You need to start to communicate with people I'm not always certain. And in fact, I'm challenging myself not to be certain and to question things more often. Again, people around you may get uncomfortable, but when you start to do this, you will notice shifts. You will notice that the world opens up a bit for you. And if you're having any trouble kind of going through, how would I do this? Uh, where, where are these roles and how am I fitting into them and how am I feeling stuck in them? Then go to learntoloveyourstory.com. I have a ton of stuff there that might help you jog out of this. I have a blog vlog on how to be your own hero, right? How to rewrite the narrative of your life in a way where you're rescuing yourself and not just doing the same thing day after day after day, like a pawn in your own life. So head over to learntoloveyourstory.com right now. And if you're interested in my five-step process on how you can shift your entire life and create growth mindset for yourself, 
look at my courses, or sign up for the next masterclass that I have coming on. I do these every couple months or so, and they're geared at giving you all the information that you need for free <laughs> on what is this five-step process that Dr. Natalie has that's been so successful in helping women shift their narratives.